Oh, good, he's working. Hi, I'm Karen, but people call me this guy, and I'm really excited today. As you can see, I'm in a Christmas spirit with my red and white shirt, and I also brought along my good friend, this is Herbert. Herbert, the human, say hi, Herbert. Hello. See, he speaks, and he's magical. And I also brought along a turtle dove. So, today we're going to talk about my favorite movies of all time. Herbert, Herbert over there. And... Uh, you have to check them out after you watch this video. You can't check them out before you watch the video because first you have to find out what movies I say you you have to watch. And you're not going to figure that out if you watch this after this video. So you have to you have to see this video first. Don't ignore me. So the first one I have on my list is Die Hard with a Vengeance. Uh, I'm in the majority of people who believe that this is the best film in the franchise. Like you could pretty much skip the first two. Uh, also... Uh, this one doesn't have the racial tensions that the first one has, where you have weird people speaking Russian, but it sounds more Ethiopian. Uh, and Jeremy Irons is really a fantastic villain in this movie. He's got a great speaking voice. Kind of reminds me a lot of, like, uh, Val Kilmer, uh, like, after he did all the movies in the 80s and 90s. Uh, when he got good. He's really good. It's a bit racist, uh, but there's lots of action. I'm pretty sure at one point at the end of the movie, Santa shows up. And he, he picks up John McBain and then he kicks everyone's asses. Just a total action romp. You gotta check it out. So that's number one. So check that out. But again, after this video. Number two is White Christmas. I can't remember if this movie's in black or white or in color. But I know that it's a fantastic film. But it's, if it's in black and white, it has a little bit of like racist tensions and overtones you don't want to check out. So I, my... Oh, olive oil won't stop barking upstairs and she's ruining my focus. Stop! She doesn't have good listening skills for a dog. So, um, but yeah, the movie uh, White Christmas, that's what I was talking about. I wasn't talking about olive oil, I was talking about White Christmas. White Christmas is really good if it's in color, but if it's in black and white, it's not. Alright, so next one is Muppet Christmas Carol. I loved this movie. It is so good. It's so funny. The songs are superb. But there's only one thing about it that confuses me every time. And that's... What is a Muppet? I thought that they might have been like those little creatures on Sesame Street that are kind of creepy because you got hands up their anuses. But last time I watched this movie, I didn't see any hands. So I got really confused if a Muppet might be real. But if they're real... I want to know what they're paying taxes, and if they can pay taxes, that means that they could get married. And I've not seen a Muppet marriage, because that would have been televised, because that's kind of a big deal. <sighs> also, during the hiatus, my parents got divorced. So the next one I have uh, on my list is uh, Home Alone. Um, the reason why I love this movie so much is that it's a classic. Uh, it reminds me of my childhood, because ten years ago, I was left home alone, and uh, it was a really scary time. I wasn't sure what to eat, so I pretty much just ate a stick of butter and like a few pork rinds that were expired. Um, and it worked because I washed it down with chunky milk. And uh, since then, like when my parents showed up and I was showing up everywhere, um, they uh, they don't leave me. They don't leave me home alone anymore, and that's, that's a nice feeling, especially at Christmas time. I live in your basement. So, Home Alone 2 is next, because if you're going to do Home Alone 1, you got to do Home Alone 2. But here's the best thing about Home Alone 2. It is, hands down, the best New York movie ever made. I've always wanted to go to New York, especially since Penn and Teller visited there, and I didn't have the money to be there, and my pen is burst. So, I really wanted to check it out, but... Watching this movie is like the next best thing. There's lots of things like windows getting broken and tools falling down the stairs. It's hilarious. And Joe Pesci is fantastic at doing a Marlon Brando impression. Um, next I have Bad Santa. It's funny. That's it. It's funny. Watch it. Uh, it's a Wonderful Life is next. Sometimes I know what it feels like to be really sad. George was really, really sad. And as you watch the movie, you, you start to realize there's a lot of hope out there for George. Especially pieces of shit like George. 
it's great. It's really nice. It makes me feel good about myself and my ruptured appendix. Uh, next, I have is Act Love Actually. If you've not seen this movie, rush out and get it after this video. Rush out and get it. It's fantastic. Colin Firth steals the show. And this is the reason why. I like that he has miscommunication problems with the girl that's staying at his place and acting like his maid. And despite the fact that they don't know each other and they can't really speak to each other, they fall in love anyways. Because he then becomes a king with a, poor, a horrible speech. And that's my problem is I have a horrible speech impediment. So it kind of makes me feel like I could, I could be king. Or I could be Colin Firth. That's like the next best thing. Uh, next I have a Prancer. Uh, jingle all the way. I don't have kids, but if I did have kids, this is exactly how I want to go Christmas shopping. It's fantastic. You get to meet a lot of new people. Uh, it's just a crazy fun frolicking adventure all the way through the entire film. I also like the part where Phil Hartman's wife isn't there. Uh, Miracle on 34th Street. This is the classic of classics. Um, when the lawyer pones the guy at the post office and ends up proving that Santa is real. It's like the best, the best thing I've ever seen and you really need to check it out. It's so good. It was even better than when I thought Phil Hartman's wife wasn't an asshole. And then the last one I have on this list is Mixed Nuts. I watched it last night. Leif Schreiber is so good. Like, he runs around in a dress for most of the movie, but Leif Schreiber is really, really funny. And if you're not a big fan of Leif, uh, Leif Schrodinger, then you will be after you watch this movie. So, I hope you enjoyed the list. I hope that you get to take a, a snapshot with Herbert because it's like taking a selfie. And enjoy your Christmas holidays. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. I've run out of things to say and I don't know what to do with my hands.